Hi everyone, this is FaZe and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the all new Apple Vision Pro that I've been using quite excessively for the past few days. It's a device that I was really, really excited about, but at the same time I was really wondering if it's worth the $4,000 price tag. I mean, that's quite excessive. And I didn't want this just to watch movies and play games, but what I was really interested in seeing was if this device could help me work from home. I'm a digital marketing consultant and I have embraced the remote work lifestyle for the past few years and I absolutely love it. So my workspace is basically my MacBook Pro that is connected to my monitor and it's a 30 inch monitor and that's pretty much it. That's my workspace and I really like it. What I really wanted to see is if I could take that next level with the Apple Vision Pro. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. Is this worth it as a device for people who work from home or not? Let's find out. Let me put this on. All right, so the headset is on. Let me just tighten this up. All right, so this is my home screen right here. And as you see, it's just a grid of apps. And you can see I have my ping pong table in the back, the phone recording me, and this is basically me in my basement filming this for you guys. So first things first, let me just show you how great the immersive feeling of all of this is. I'm gonna go on Mount Hood. And here I am. I am in Mount Hood. I can obviously through the digital crown control how immersive I want this to be. So I can have this just slightly immersive. So I'm like kind of in the virtual world, but also where I physically am as well, or I can go all in. So now I'm all in. And as you can see, I have my web browser opened up right here. Um, and I can just take this and take it wherever I want and I can make it any screen size. So this is literally the internet right in front of my eyes. You know, it's, and it's absolutely huge. And of course I can make it smaller as well. However, you know, I want the layout to be. And put it over here. Now, here's a document that I've opened up from the Files app, it's my portfolio. And I've got, you know, my music that I'm controlling from here, but I'm not playing that right this second. And here's my MacBook. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on what happens is that usually when I open it up, a pop-up comes up saying, you know, connect now, but it doesn't always pop up. So when it doesn't pop up, like it isn't popping up right now for whatever reason, I go into the control settings or control panel. So what I do is I go into the control panel, then you see this icon right here, Mac virtual display. Yeah, you wanna click on that, finds my MacBook. And guess what? Here you go. How cool is that? You know, I have to provide a report to one of my clients in a few days and I was working on it, but of course I wanted to show you guys a demo. And what's so cool is I'm literally using the keyboard and the trackpad of the MacBook. I mentioned how I have a 30 inch monitor in my workspace, right? Well here, I can make this as large as I want and just set it right there. So look how great it is when I wanna work on a report. I mean, this is like a huge canvas for me to work on. And obviously I've got, you know, Mail, I've got Outlook, I've got Teams, I've got Final Cut Pro, Luma Fusion. So if I want to do a video edit for one of my clients, look how great it is to edit videos on. I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. I am no longer confined to my workspace anymore. No longer am I confined to that 30 inch monitor, but it doesn't end there. Let's say I'm working on a report and I want to have a, you know, my, my Safari open for the research that I'm doing. Well, as you can see right here, I have Safari open. I can literally search whatever I want. Let's say I want to go on YouTube and you know watch something. I can literally type in this keyboard. Let's say I want to, I'm just going to put on a demo video of the Apple Vision Pro. And let's say I watch this. So you can even have a video playing while you're working on a report. All right, so I'm going to pause that video, but as you can see, I just made it larger. So I have a video right here. I've got my Mac screen right here. I've got a document opened up. I've got my music, Apple Music right here. You're not going to get a workspace like this in your life. The immersion that you're feeling is absolutely incredible. But let's say I want to work from the mountains or on a lake. I can literally just with my digital crown, take myself somewhere else. Instead of a 30 inch monitor, I've got this giant screen. My giant Mac screen is literally right in front of my eyes and I can do all the work that I want right then and there. 
just look at this. This is absolutely incredible. And let's say I want to, you know, go back to the main screen. So I just go here and let's say I want to go on Keynote. Let me just open this up. So it's a keynote presentation, right? And I can literally choose an environment. By the way, this is just a demo presentation, right? I am literally now in a conference room. I, and I can see my slides right here. It's only two slides, but this feels so freaking real. Like I can, it's almost as if I can take that chair in front of me, push it back, sit in it and start doing work. How cool is this? And of course, if I want to get out of this experience, I just click this and I'm out and I'm back looking at all my panels. Just let this sink in for a second. You're not gonna get this kind of an experience on any monitor, but with this headset, it, make, it takes it next level. So you see, I've got Outlook on here. I've got my main mail app on here. I've got Zoom, I've got Teams. I've got all these apps already set up. I'm not really using them as much because technically I like, I prefer using my Mac, right? Everything, this is my main, work computer and everything's installed on here. But if you want, or maybe if you don't have a Mac and you just want to get on Outlook or Gmail or go on Microsoft Teams, you don't have to replicate your Mac screen. You can just download those individual apps and use them on here as well. Like I do with Keynote, rather than going on Keynote on my Mac, I did it through the app that's built into my Vision Pro. So there's an infinite amount of apps you can download for your Vision Pro. But let me come out of this now. So what I really like about the Apple Vision Pro is that I can literally get the largest monitor ever and, I, and I'm and i fully immersed in the work that I'm doing. And technically I can be doing it on a lake, mountains, wherever I want. It, it makes it more fun and unique. My Mac literally becomes the most immersive experience ever right in front of my eyes. And I'm not confined by just my desk and my 30 inch extended monitor, because sometimes I don't want to be just sitting there doing my work. How cool is it that you're laying in bed and you can just review your documents as it, as it's on your ceiling, or how awesome is it to just sit at your kitchen and do your work and everything that you just saw me doing in my basement, I can do the same thing over there. That's really, really cool. The fact that I can take this with me anywhere I go and my whole workspace is with me at all times. But there are two things I want to mention that I kind of don't like. And the first thing is, is persona. So when it comes to video chats, I have my persona set up and it looks pretty cool, but I must say, I don't, it kind of looks weird and creepy at the same time. So whenever I've made a zoom call, which by the way, personas are not just limited to FaceTime calls. You can do it on zoom and other apps as well. But anyways, whenever I've made a call using my persona, it's felt a little artificial and I feel like to the person that I'm talking to, it feels a little gimmicky to them and it's not really me. And I can understand that because it is artificial. It's uh, it's it's a persona that's set up by this device, right? So my actual mannerisms, though it does a pretty decent job, it's still not me at the end of the day, not me 100%, I should say. So when it comes to video calls, I don't feel 100% comfortable or confident using persona. I do take my headset off and make video calls the old fashioned way, which is <laughs> me just using it on my Mac. So that's the first thing, persona. The second thing is I like being around people. This is great when you're kind of by yourself. And I don't want to say that the Apple Vision Pro kind of isolates you, but I feel like we're living in a world where this is really new. These virtual reality headsets, it's not something that everyone has. We aren't used to going to public places, seeing people wear these headsets and doing work. So if you go to a coffee shop to do work, Sure, if you want to wear this and do work, you absolutely can. I think it would be absolutely amazing to see all those panels and your documents and your Mac screen, everything all in front of your eyes in a large setup at a coffee shop and you're doing your work. That would be amazing. But I think people will look at you and say that person looks dumb or really weird or really creepy because imagine you're in a coffee shop and you're just doing this. I mean, it, it's just not natural. We're just not used to seeing people do stuff like that. And I think it's gonna take some time where this becomes more of a norm. And I don't feel comfortable me going out in public wearing this to do work. So I kind of have to isolate myself. I kind of have to be indoors at home if I want to do this kind of stuff. I can be anywhere in my house and get a lot of work done with the Apple Vision Pro. But in public places, I do 
I'm not 100% confident. But at the end of the day, the Apple Vision Pro is a fantastic device. And I think it's a real game changer for people who work from home. And if you embrace that remote work lifestyle and you want to make it more fun and you want to take the experience next level, then I think this device is absolutely fantastic. But I will say, go to the Apple store, try it out, see if it makes sense to you. Individuals who like to have multiple nice high def monitors, that alone can get costly, right? So this is a great entertainment device. This is a great productivity device. And it's something that you can use it for many different ways. Even if you're traveling and you want to watch a movie, you can do that. If you're traveling and want to work on a presentation, you can do that. And everything's built in. So like I said, if you want to look at your emails, you don't need to go to your Mac and replicate your Mac screen. There are individual apps you can download for the Apple Vision Pro and do that. So you don't even have to have your Mac when you're traveling. This is your computer. At the end of the day, Apple is calling this a spatial computer. You do not need to depend on your MacBook to have this work. But at the end of the day, I want to know your questions. I want to know your thoughts. What do you think about the Apple Vision Pro? Do you think it's really expensive? Or do you think, like me, do you think that this is going to be a game changer for all those people who work from home and want to use this as a productivity tool? So whatever your comments are, whatever your questions are, leave them down in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I'll definitely be doing a lot more content on the Apple Vision Pro. And uh, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time.